And I almost forgot a Jinjo. Fantastic. So, sit over there. It's uh, right in that alcove over here. You really gotta know it's there because um, usually the camera isn't going to be pointing at that direction on its own. Especially not with the Pit of Death sand that's uh, right next to it. Anyway, we established that Gobi went to the Oasis, which sets the stage for one of the series' biggest running gags. So, let's see what Gobi has to say. This tree looks a bit thirsty, but I need all my water for myself. You jerk! Take this! Fucking camel! And, uh, as you might have guessed, I referred to it being a running gag, meaning that we're going to have to do this, uh, quite a bit more over the course of the series. Not just this game, but the sequel as well. So, for that we get a Jiggy and can't climb Trunker. Okay, so I guess I'm just going to climb on top of, uh, another tree and get it from there. Can I make it? It looks a bit far. Okay! I, I, I thought it looked a bit far, but apparently it's really no problem. It would really suck if that Jiggy was completely unattainable. You know, other than maybe the flight pad, but that would just be overkill at this point. Anyway, now we're gonna turn into bona fide camel stalkers, because we have to find Gobi one more time in this level in order to... Uh, get everything he can give me and also get him to move to another level what I'm gonna do in fact everything I've done so far involving Gobi as well as what I'm gonna do it's a requirement for a Jiggy in the last world so you really want to come here if you if you get the chance so let's just do that again spitting up an extra honeycomb piece and okay I'm leaving this desert to find some peace and quiet He's referring to Click Clock Wood, as I said, the... Did he really just climb down that... Whoa! He, he's really desperate if he's willing to go through all that death sand just to get to Click Clock Wood. Either way, this is an area that can only be uh, opened up uh, through one of these codes in Treasure Trove Cove. And uh, this coffin here contains one of the secret eggs. So we got three of the secret items down. Three, uh, those are the three uh, best known ones, but there are still four more that we have to grab. Now I guess I have no choice but to wait uh, for a magic carpet because there is simply no way I'm going to do what Gobi did and uh, just... Uh, uh, walk down that uh, that wall there. I'm not even sure I could do it even with Kazooie, so yeah, I'm, I'm not suicidal enough to do that. Now, um, I guess we can go for that uh, extra honeycomb piece that appeared inside a cactus earlier on, if you remember, so I think it's all the way over there, if it can actually appear. It would be very much fun, please. Oh, there's a mumbo token there. I'm just gonna grab it. it. It's not the only way to grab it. There's a much simpler way that becomes available later on, but I just, you know, felt like grabbing it because it was right there. Anyway, we add another... Whoa! Uh, yeah, we add another unit of life to our life bar, and our life bar is now completely maxed out. There are still six more um, extra honeycomb piece left in the game, but... Uh, but from this point on, they do nothing except for 100% completion. Now I'm going to have to clear away because I'm going to need to be blazing through this place with uh, the sprint shoes. Ow! Okay, there we go. Didn't have too much trouble after all. Okay, so I don't think there's anything threatening left in that direction. So I'm going to just head up there and... Grab the sprint shoes and run like hell! Once again, really have to hurry. I don't really remember if you're given a lot of time, but anyway, down there, there's an arena of source with one of those mummified hands that actually has a jiggy. So what you're trying to do here is you're trying to use the sprint shoes to snag it before it uh, burrows back down in the sand, which I managed to do on my second try. I was sort of worried that uh, the boots would run out at the worst possible time, but as it turns out, it wasn't uh, that much of a problem. 
now, as you can see, there are some notes in the death sand. So this is what the waiting boots here are for. So, once again, we're gonna be running like hell with Kazooie, trying to get everything before time runs out. And it looks like this is a pretty long trail of notes, actually, so this means the time limit is probably gonna be really, really, really tight. Come on, hold on! Oh man, oh, it's starting to tick! Oh no, 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 no! Get out there, get out of there! Yes! Wow! Those waiting boots, I swear, they're just barely long enough! And here's the mole hill where Bottles taught me to use the sprint shoes. Just going to take a few of these um, red feathers while I'm here. Sometimes there are notes on top of these trees, but apparently it's not that much uh, the case in this world. Yet, yeah, still more feathers. Oh! Mumbo token! Mumbo token! Let's not forget about the mumbo token! And... Oh man, I'm gonna, be ha I'm gonna have to do this next, am I? Yeah, you have 25 seconds minus the duration of the cutscene to get up to the top. This can only be done with the sprint shoes, but I'm going ahead nonetheless. I'm just going to grab uh, 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 all the notes and relevant items that I can get, because if I make any detours at all in order to grab them, it's not going to work. It's, it's just not going to work. Even if you... Even if you're perfect... Sometimes you will still actually fail. The time limit on this is that tight. So, I guess... I guess I have no choice now. I have to go for it. So, let's try this. Attempt number one. I'm not going to be commentating that much because this is going to be tight. And I need full concentration for that. Okay, hurry up! I hate how they actually have to make you sit through the cutscene every single time, even if you've actually seen it once. Come on, on the inside as much as possible. Okay, we're good, but we're still far away and there's only six seconds left! Holy shit, this is ridiculous! I can make it! I can make it! No! Are you serious? The door was actually closing when I got in there! Ah! Perfection is required. Nothing less. Holy crap. This is unbelievable. Attempt number two. Hopefully it's gonna go a little better. By the way, that door on the side, it's uh, only an exit. You have to actually enter from the top if you want to be able to do anything in there. I'm, no, I'm not gonna get it, am I? Well, this could be close, maybe? Oh, not again! It, it's almost, you know, the most frustrating timing. If you're gonna miss it, at least miss it hardcore. Don't get there at the very last fraction of a second when the door actually starts closing. Okay, attempt number three. Yes, we know. The door is opening up. Seriously, I don't know why I, have, why, why I would have to freeze in place while watching a cutscene, of course. It would help to know where I'm going, but it just doesn't make any sense. Oh, hey look! There's a time mission! You only have 25 seconds! Hey, I know! Let's stop and gawk at the door opening for a second! Okay, I'm doing better than I'm doing these last two tries, and I just barely made it! Whew! That was close, once again! So, Mumbo Token, you really want to not forget to pick it up, because if I remember, picking up this Jiggy is going to cause the door to open and the water to drain out. These mummies, I believe I've already mentioned it before, uh, you can sort of knock them out temporarily, but the only way to defeat them permanently is uh, with a gold feather. So, um... Now you're gonna have to deal with them unless you're willing to spend your gold feather killing these mummies, and uh, I'm not gonna be doing that here. Thank you very much. I just want to grab the eggs and the notes, and uh, that's gonna be about it. Did I forget anything? Just want to make sure. Okay, 
We're good. We're good. So uh, this was the door that led right into the mumbo token I picked up uh, earlier on. So now that the now that the water is drained, it actually uh, filled up that pit of death sand. Now I think that there are a few notes that uh, I forgot to pick up in this area the first time I was here. I was just here to. Um, Actually, uh, I, w I was only here to pick up notes, and okay, there we go, some notes that I actually forgot, though, uh, I didn't have this exact location in mind. Yeah, the game is, is starting to get sort of confusing as to, you know, keeping track of uh, where you've explored and when you haven't explored, but it's gonna get a whole lot worse from here on out. We still have three worlds left after this. So, um... You know what? I guess I'm gonna be I'm gonna be uh, doing this target practice thing. Want to get up there? And okay, now you see that head that's going back and forth. You have to feed three eggs to that uh, head thingy. Okay, one, two, three. Good. So now this one is done. There's another one that's going to appear. Uh, somewhere else, but we see a bit of a pyramid rise. Remember the, remember the mumbo token that I picked up in the air earlier on? Well, uh, it's the one that's actually at the top of that pyramid once it, uh, once it has appeared in its entirety. So, we have another little island here. So, um, wow, that was terrible. That was terrible too! That, I'm just getting worse and worse. Okay, calm down. No, not working either. Uh, okay, we're good now. We're good. Two and three. Okay, so uh, now there's going to be a third head that's going to come out. The pyramid is unearthed even more. Let's head over to that uh, third little island, I guess. I strongly recommend that you drain the water because uh, otherwise you have to do some precise jumping, as you can see, and you risk falling into the death sand. That is now completely gone, by the way, since, uh, well, it's it's been diluted by all that water. Uh, don't worry, the water isn't going to harm you. So, th this was actually much easier than the last one. And here we go, the central pyramid has been uncovered in its entirety! So, uh, as you can see, there are a few notes. I think we also saw a mumbo token down there earlier on, so we're just gonna grab all this stuff. Uh, the, for this, you actually need to have um, drained the water from that uh, last pyramid I visited, unless you think you can actually take the massive death sand damage that uh, you're going to have to take if you want to wait. Uh, if you don't want to wait, rather, until the water has been drained. And we even have a Jinjo here. Now, one more note. There we go. I, I thought uh, I went all the way around, but I guess there is still some stuff left. Okay, let me just check to make sure. I think we are good. We got everything. So I can head back to the surface before I run out of air. Actually getting pretty low. So now there are two pyramids left for us to do and not much else. So I guess I'm going to keep the main one for later and... Uh, Enter this one instead. Uh, as we saw earlier on, there is a switch on top of this pyramid. You want to press it, and then you have 10 seconds to get to the entrance. This is not a tight time limit at all. Look at that. Very easily done. Now, this one is a little memory match mini game, and I'm actually going to be using a uh, gold feather to get rid of this guy so that he doesn't pester me while I'm doing the memory match mini game. So. We're almost done with Gobi's Valley, so next time we're going to finish off this world and then head deeper into Gruntilda's Lair.